Are you struggling at PvP? Do you get clapped by sweats every time you play Bed Wars or UHC duels? Well, do not worry, because I am here to uh, help you clap those sweats, so... Uh, yeah, this is basically my take on a PvP guide. Uh, so then you can figure out how I get actuated every time I play UHC duels. Alright, uh, enjoy the video. Alright, so, uh, we're basically just gonna do no diva first because, you know, we're not that advanced, right? You can't use a rod yet. That's too hard. So, um, so what you want to do first is you want to be constantly sprinting. If you don't sprint, you're gonna get knocked back really far. Because, um, in Minecraft, the way knockback works is, um, the faster you click and the faster you're moving, the less knockback you take. So, um, yeah, first you want to be constantly sprinting. Uh, and next, when you want to run at your opponent, you want to um, strafe, because you actually kind of move faster this way, so um, so you actually take less knockback when you strafe, and you can basically get combos. So, Alright, so the way combos work is, um, alright, so here's a diagram of a, uh, of a triangle, and basically when you knock someone, you see, let's say the opponent is on the top end of that triangle, then, uh, yeah, they have to hit you on the hypotenuse of the triangle. Well, you, you're on the lower part of the triangle, right? You only have to, you only have to hit them on the leg of the triangle. And if you, act, and if you, uh, if you have a middle school education, you, uh, you probably know that the hypotenuse is way longer, and thus it looks like you have reach, so, um, okay, so let's do a combo on this guy. So as you can see, every time you hit him, he goes in the air a little bit. So um, so every time he goes in the air, you actually have more reach than him. So in a real fight, you knock him in the air a little bit, and you basically have reach hacks. And, like, well, you don't have reach hacks forever, basically, because um, cause they, there's gravity in this game. But, uh, yeah, you temporarily have reach hacks for the time they're in the air. Okay, the next thing you want to work on is uh, your click speed. So... Uh, let's just let's just fight this guy with uh, low CPS. You see, I'm not getting any like double hits on him. But if you butterfly click, then you can. I literally take so much less knockback, and I sometimes get double hits on him. Double hits is like when you hit someone once, and then the server lags, so it registers as like. So then you hit them again after you knock them back. It's a, it, it looks like reach hacks, but it's not. So when you wanna, so some people they like to. Um, Okay, that was really weird, but some people, they like to, uh, they like to single click because it makes it easier for them to aim. But some people like to butterfly click and some people jitter click. Alright guys, so, um, here's a mouse. So, usually people can either single click. Single clicking is when they go like this, basically, and you try to click as fast as you can. Some people jitter click. I don't think jitter clicking is that healthy, but it's when you, like, basically stiff up your entire arm and then you just try to twitch your finger as fast as you can. It really hurts your arm, I tried it before. And the best clicking method, butterfly clicking. Some people, their mouse can't double click, so they just go like this. If your mouse can double click, double clicking is, um, so usually when you click, you go like that, but when you double click, you go like this with the flat of your finger, and you basically make it click twice. So this is one click, and you push it down again, that's a second click, that's how double clicking works. So the impact counts as a click, and then you pushing it down counts as a click. And you just do that with two fingers, and you just get 20 CPS. It might take some practice, but if you can butterfly click, it's so worth it. Like, I wouldn't recommend jitter clicking though, unless you want to have some long-term damage to your, uh... Unless you want to get carpal tunnel. Okay, so we have this, uh, ethanol guy. He's clicking at, uh, like, 5 CPS, alright? So if... So if I click at 5 CPS, we're basically trading hits. So I have to click at 20 CPS, and that's the only way I can get a combo on him. And you have to drink speed, because he has speed. And if I don't have speed, then he's just going to combo me. This will take less KB. So the only way I can combo him is if I click 20 CPS. Because if we're both clicking the same clicks per second, no one's going to get a combo on anyone. Alright, the next thing you want to do is you want to W tap. So when you get hit, look. Alright. When you get hit, your sprint resets. And even if, you, even if you have toggle sprint, I don't know, for some reason toggle sprint doesn't really fix that problem. You, you take more knockback when you get hit. So every time you get hit, you want to press the W key again. And I'm not even butterfly clicking, but as you can see, I'm taking no knockback when you W tap. 
So if you look in the top right, you can see my keystrokes. Every time I get hit, or like, or like when I'm hitting him, or every time I hit him, or every time I get hit, I'm pressing the W key. And this really reduces your knockback. Like, look, I'm not even moving. I'm pretty sure he's W tapping too, so he's not even moving. Um, so yeah, now we're just gonna clap him. To fire, uh, um, you W tapping and butterfly clicking. Alright, so now we're gonna play uh, a real game of pop PvP against this opponent. Pop PvP is like the most basic kind of PvP. So we're basically just gonna W tap and we're gonna butterfly click on him. See, look, we're taking no knockback and he's getting knocked back so far. When you heal in pop PvP, you wanna run this way and just throw it straight in front of you and you'll get the most amount of healing from that healing pot. It's like the best way, like the most foolproof way to do it. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna continue taking no knockback. Hypotenuse uses the triangle. Uh, he has to, we're basically just gonna combo him. And we're gonna strafe at the same time. We're, we're, we basically minimize our knockback to zero. Some people think you're, in, like, if you do that, some people probably think you're cheating. But, people, people think that your knockback, the amount of knockback you take is like, oh, if you have low ping, then you'll take low, like, less KB. But it's nothing like that. Like, you, like, some, some really good PvP players, they play on high ping. I've seen them before in ranked Bed Wars. Like, high ping, some people actually want to play on high ping, because you just take less knockback. Like, uh, here's a clip of this guy called Neddy that got banned. He literally has high ping, and you can see that he takes really, takes like no knockback. Alright, so we're basically W tapping, we're strafing, and we're clicking really fast, and that's basically all it is to pop PvP. And, um, we should be able to kill this guy right now. See, look, he's getting comboed. Every time I hit him, he gets launched in the air, and all of a sudden, I, uh, I have more reach than him. Well, it's, it feels like. Alright, so that's pop PvP, or whatever. This is basically Bed Wars PvP. This is what you do in a Bed Wars game. Alright, so, um, now we're gonna do something a little bit more complicated, which is UHC duels. So in UHC duels, you never want to eat a golden apple to begin with. No, it's a waste, just don't do it. Alright, so, the thing with UHC duels is now you have a fishing rod, so remember how I told you guys how combos work? You hit someone, they go in the air, and all of a sudden, you have more reach than them. Well, that's the purpose of the fishing rod. You see, every time I hit him with the fishing rod, he goes up a little bit, and that's where the combo begins. See, all you do is just, uh, okay, server lag. Hypixel's a very high quality server. Alright, so all you do is just hit him, and then he basically just goes up, and you get the combo. Um, I wouldn't recommend, but I, I don't really butterfly click because I feel like it. I feel like butterfly clicking is not as good in this game mode because um, uh, you have a fishing rod, so it's so it's like hard to tame. All right, so now he's bow spamming you. you, you if, if there's a guy bow spamming you, you just bow spam him back. That's the only way. If they're better than you, then you bow spam. All right, another thing you can do is place blocks like that and hit them like that. See, when you place blocks in front of them, it's like all okay. So if someone places blocks in front of you. Um, you literally just stop moving. Like, if I place blocks like this, you stop moving. And, uh, one thing I said was, was your knockback depends, depends on your click speed and your movement speed. So if I'm standing still, I'll take more knockback than if I'm running towards them. Which is kind of self-explanatory. So that's why placing blocks is so effective to, for getting combos. Like, all I have to do is just place blocks like that, and I'll basically get a combo every time. If you're a good player, then they'll probably never fall for that. And, um... Yeah, now we just bow spam them. So one thing I learned when bow spamming is when you hit someone that way, they're more likely to run back the other direction. So now he's just gonna go that way, and then, um... Yeah, so if you hit someone that way, then they're most likely just gonna go the opposite direction. Because that's just how their brain works. It's like, oh, I got hit in this direction, I'm just gonna run back the other direction. Um, so yeah, now we just combine everything, W tap, you W tap, butterfly click, I'm actually butterfly clicking right now, I actually prefer it for this actually. Alright, so um, this is basically just going to be me tryharding, like, alright, I'm just going to place blocks, oh, he's bow spamming, we're just going to bow spam, I like to run, I like to look like the opposite direction whenever I hit a shot, so then I move faster, it looks really sweaty though. Alright, so I hit him this way, he's probably going to, um, okay, he's smart. Alright, I ran out of arrows, so now I'm just gonna go for him. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna butterfly click, actually. Alright, W tap, butterfly click, fishing rod, when you get low, eat a golden head, and, uh, yeah, he's dead. Alright, guys, so, the very last step is, you just need good settings. So, what you need is, you need a texture pack, you need, um, a good Minecraft PvP client to increase your frames, 
and uh, you might need a mouse that can double click because if you double click you can butterfly click so fast and uh, yeah that's about it uh, hopefully this guide has helped you if it did please leave a like I need likes and uh, yeah see you in the next video goodbye